Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's video and uh, in this video we'll discuss uh, what, how is pathology as a branch uh, for the upcoming NEET, NEET PG and INICT uh, PG counselling. So today I have with me the pleasure of having Dr. Surbhi Jain. She uh, is a colleague of mine from AIMS Delhi and she did her MD pathology from AIMS, uh, AIMS New Delhi and she is currently pursuing senior residency from, in pathology from AIMS itself uh, along with she is uh, doing a PhD in uh, pathology from AIMS and uh, I am Dr. Rishab Jain, I am currently a senior resident in the department of radio diagnosis at AIMS New Delhi. So hi Surbhi, welcome to today's, uh, welcome to uh, my channel and this video and so the first question I want to ask you, so how is pathology as a branch and why should uh, people in the NEET PG choose it, uh, what made you choose it? Firstly, uh, everybody, every undergraduate used to love reading Robbins. It was one of the favorite books of many people that do the book and now the new edition also. But uh, pathology as a branch is very interesting. Uh, as a pathologist, you are the diagnosing physician for the patient. You may not see the patient directly, but you are the person who decides their further course of action, who decides whether they have some disease or not, they have some malignancy or not and th uh, this, uh, this adds much responsibility on your shoulders and as a branch it is one of the most fulfilling, most satisfying branch and firstly you should take the subject only if you love it because it is a very difficult subject. Yeah that, that I agree like even uh, reading Robbins and I think it, it involves a lot of molecular, lot of research, lot of second opinions, lot of discussions and even the, so we are recording this video in uh, Surbhi's reporting room and like not in a cafe or not in her hostel room because like she is currently working and she has like still 30, 30 slides more to look into for the day. So I think she'll be up here till around 2 a.m. today and uh, so <laughs> definitely this is not a branch which is light on your working hours and so if you are someone who is looking for a chill branch, so I think you should have a second uh, guess at your uh, branch of choosing. So why did you choose it and what made you choose pathology? Because Surbhi is someone who took pathology by choice and she loved pathology. So let's hear uh, her views. So I did my MBBS from AMSI and there in undergraduate only you have a very good exposure to all the histopathology slides, the hemat and the cyto. So, uh, when you realize, uh, even when you go to medicine or surgery, when you realize that their management is based on a pathologist's diagnosis, how much it matters, then you realize the importance of the subject. Because uh, you are not seeing patients directly, but you are not seeing patients directly. So, it becomes very important, and uh, the feeling of diagnosis, diagnosing the thing. The feeling that uh, you can uh, give the patient a further course of action ki kya karna hai aage, is one of the most satisfying things. So, this way I love pathology and this way I didn't think about it that I would like to take it. My first choice was pathology and I took pathology. I think you took pathology over medicine because... Haan, uh, yes. So... Uh, and she is very happy. <laughs> That's very good. So you will enjoy the working hours also only if you love the subject. Might be one of the most toxic subjects. Okay. Because, <laughs> because that blue and pink on the slides will be very difficult. Okay, okay. So, what are the uh, coming into the brand? What are the sub specialties of pathology in general? So, most of the central institutes, uh, including ours, uh, like medicine or anything, one person cannot do everything. So, we have all the sub specialties like. GI, head and neck, uh, peds, uh, gynae, breast, uh, endo, bone soft tissue, um, then lung, uh, cardio, neuro, lymphomas, hemat, cyto and what the upcoming thing is molecular uh, which will be the future. Okay, so like almost all specialties have their subspecialty in pathology and <clears throat> I think that's why in AIMS and in all central institutes there is a dedicated uh, pathology, uh, clinical pathological uh, uh, conference and meet and I think that even the CPC that usually happens at AIMS that is the clinical pathological conference I think that is one of the uh, most uh, sought after academic fees in which like every department wants to attend so 
that that is one of our piece because uh, then you realize the final say is ours only, mm. no matter what you say. I think uh, if in PJ, uh, it used to happen from 8 to 9 in the morning in the auditorium and like that auditorium used to be packed till the end and I was talking to one of the pathology JRF there and the case used to be allotted to them one month prior that this is CPC ka case hai and it was an autopsy. Hoti thi. So they used to like present the whole case in such a beautiful way. Each and everything used to be seen on slides and it really used to be a very good academic piece for like the whole hospital and the whole hospital used to look forward to that CPC. Those are the cases which may it is a surprise for everybody else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it is kept under wraps. So, okay, so we'll move on to the working hours uh, in pathology for during residence. So I did my GR shift here only. Uh, it depends. So we have different postings. So it depends on your posting, but routinely it may be 8 or 9 to one or two or three in the night. So uh, working hours are not that good if you want to have a light. But yes, they are, if you finish your work and everything is fine, you can enjoy. We, but yes, if you are uh, enjoying on Friday or Saturday, you will have to come on Sunday. So okay. that is one thing. Okay, so like if you are aware of it, how is pathology in a central institute like Ains, BJ, Chipman and Demands different from a state uh, college MD pathology? Many of my colleagues, uh, the co-senior residents have come from other colleges and there uh, the department might lose by 4 or 5 or 6 max uh, in many colleges in Delhi also because of the workload but central institutes have uh, much workload. Here also we receive almost six, above 60,000 specimens a year right. for this two only and 25 around for site also. It becomes very different in which we, are, we have divided uh, Hemat as a different uh, field. So it becomes very difficult uh, and uh, here uh, the department almost never closes. Okay. So, uh, even in radiology I think uh, people come in mm -hmm. at the time they suit uh, right for reporting and like but you have to finish your work on yes. time. So uh, let's uh, move on to uh, another subtopic of academics. So how is academics in uh, pathology divided during the residency? Uh, so at Ames or any other institute also we have three main uh, sub divisions. Is one is histopathology, the other is cytopathology and hematopathology. So in names we get posted in hemat for six months, cyto for six months and the other for uh, one and a half for histopath and we have other postings as well in which we have clinical uh, uh, clinical medicine and clinical labs and blood bank posting also where a pathologist is needed. Then uh, we have other um, uh, postings of molecular pathology and electron microscopy uh, of the in situ hybridization where, where we learn all the newer techniques. And at AIMS, we get the privilege that we have four dedicated months for our thesis also because uh, in normal normal routine we cannot complete the thesis we get. So, like mine was also Sanger, so it takes time. You cannot do anything. I think if, if you're getting free at 12 and 1 in the night, so thesis ka time kai malega. So, so, just a couple of more questions. So, how is a pathology uh, subspeciality and practice and training different uh, from other laboratory based uh, subspeciality or paraclinicals like microbiology or lab medicine? So, uh, firstly, according uh, most of the labs require a pathologist to head or to uh, sign their uh, reports. So, pathology becomes very important there also. Uh, also earlier micro and path were one degree. Many of the earlier signed reports you will see one degree only. But now pathology mostly entails to hemat, cyto and histo and micro is separate that we, we use, uh, we read in uh, uh, the books like uh, all the cultures and everything. And uh, a few of the medical colleges only have lab medicine ka course. And in AIMS, uh, all the uh, uh, workups like him uh, and the blood workup, all the serological assays are given to the lab uh, lab people, and also they do some of the cytology, and uh, that is what it is. But uh, yes, pathology is still a basic, maybe a basic requirement for all the labs, so it is the main branch. I think a lot of uh, people in lab medicine are also. Uh the SRs there are many, many of them are pathologists. Also blood banks also require a pathologist. So okay. if you are a blood bank person. 
All right. So, what are the future prospects after MD pathology? So, future depends on where you want to stay versus private and the other is academic. Uh, but you have so many prospects in pathology now. First, you have DM. DM in pathology, like every subspecialty, you can do DM and they are, they are upcoming. Like the names we have hematopathology, uh, PGI has histopathology, hemat, then other institutes have oncopathology, Tata has oncopath. Then you can do fellowships like Green Guild, uh, my everything is there. And uh, you you can also shift to clinical like DM, clinical hemat you can do. Uh, it sometimes comes like Rajiv Gandhi, all uh, the things you can get through need super speciality, but you are not uh, eligible for the Central Institute Continuum Hemat, clinical hemat. Then uh, I think this is uh, an important one, like you can shift uh, to a clinical branch of a hematology, DM and so hematology after doing MD back. Yeah. Then uh, secondly, uh, what you can do is you, you can always open a, your lab and uh, the prospects are good. If you establish a good lab, your prospects will always be good because path ke bina kuch nahi hota and uh, patients will keep coming. Then uh, you can always practice in private hospitals. Uh, your pay might be thoda sa less but um, yes, madam, you can practice and private mostly uh, private practicing may you will practice mostly the clinical uh, lab part or the hemat part. You can get histopath also, but it depends on the job of you that you get. Then, uh, Bahar uh, pathology is one of the most sought after branches. Uh, outside India, especially outside. I think US, yes. US, so, UK. So, see the you may not get it. It will be very difficult. So, US ke level you give MLE again, but yes, if you have done residency from here, it will be helpful. And for UK, if you give FRC path, which is also a very difficult exam, if you clear that, you can practice there. So, Baki Bahar, the job prospects are very good. And lastly, molecular path, just up is the upcoming thing. That is the thing. That is the that is the future. So, if you have been practicing molecular, आगे का future बहुत ही अच्छा है. So, I think a lot of insight even I got frankly and I think hope you all got uh, into pathology and as a subspeciality and it is one of my favorite uh, subjects and it was one of my favorite subjects to read during MBBS and thanks for me for uh, joining in and like if you have any query you can put it in the comment section and I think we both will be happy to answer. Good night. Bye bye.